Okay, so I wanted to talk about this flight because it's my personal best as far as distance. And it's always been a goal to fly from Eldon to Merriam Crater. So I launched the southwest side of Eldon uh, August 5th, 2021. And the wind was going from about 10 miles per hour to 15 miles per hour. And I launched on the high side. So I launched into 15 mile per hour wind and immediately hooked a thermal and just started turning in it and finding the core. We're watching this uh, sped up, obviously. So I keep climbing, keep climbing. And I go over the back on glide at about 13,500 feet. I'm going towards Merriam. I'm kind of following the 89A loosely. Start kind of sinking a lot here, and I start to think I need to find a thermal, so I go back over to these hills. And I think next time I'll just go straight over these hills because they worked really well. As soon as I got over, found a thermal and took it all the way back up, and I was back in the game. Now there are some clouds developing over the cinder hills here, so I thought let's get under these clouds, thermal up a little bit more, and then get back on course for Merriam. kind of funny on a day where there's lift up to a thousand feet per minute to mess around with a thermal that's this high. So I think I'm just going to keep moving. Although if I'm drifting, I am drifting towards Merriam. And that's where I want to go. So why not drift in lift? So that thermal wasn't really doing any more than drifting. Um, when I fell out of it, I just beelined it straight to Merriam Crater. And even when I got just over the edge of Merriam Crater, I started going up in a strong thermal. And it's interesting that the thermal here wasn't drifting at all. It was just going straight up. So I topped off the tank and then headed out. Okay. I tagged Merriam, now I'm headed back. It's a little bit bumpy, it's two o'clock and it's about two hours into my flight. So I catch a few more thermals on the way back to Flagstaff and I'm kind of flying the clouds more than anything. Um, there were clouds developing above me and they were really high. Uh, but I was trying to fly under them, and I was flying, finding ample lift. Now, about right here, I try to ditch this thermal and go on full speed bar towards Flagstaff. And I start going up 1,900 feet per minute. And I'm already at 14,500 feet. So I get a little scared, turn towards Blue Sky, go on full speed bar, and try and get out of the lift. Um, I then kind of determine that I need to go lose some lift and then go like around this cloud. So I'm going around and I'm still going up. Um, and I'm still on full speed bar, just trying to get out into the blue sky. Okay. I just went through some wild turbulence underneath those clouds. I was on full speed bar, 
going up over a thousand meters per second, just trying to get out of the lift. I think I did all right. Headed back to Flagstaff, that was a little bit stressful. A little bit scary. But now I'm sinking and oh my God, I love the sound of that sink. Jeez, I never thought I would. Oh my God. Scary. Hopefully we can push all the way over. Buffalo Park is the goal, but it's far. <laughs> After leaving the strong thermals, all I could really find was sink. Um, here searching for some more thermals, but I can't really find anything. So I ended up landing in these fields just east of the cinder mines next to the mall. All right, it looks like this is our final glide. Can't get any closer. So we're gonna set up a nice approach right over here. Nice and safe in this big field because I'm tired. There we go. Nice and safe. Oh, my legs. Woo! What a flight.